Welcome back. This is uh, episode number five on installing Unilights on an E-Flight Viper Jet. Um, I got all the wires run and in the last video we installed the spotlight on the nose gear and the upper and lower fuselage. Um, I was going to solder all these together for you, but if you, if you struggle with soldering, chances are you should practice before you... Uh, do this and uh, I'm going to go through each one and explain uh, what one actually does. Um, and in the back here, um, or this wire right here, this is the uh, wire running to the light on the uh, vertical and I have a female connector on that that plugs in the, the light on the vertical. Um, so here's the controller here. It's got four channels. Um, channel um, one and three are basically blinking all the time and two and four are not. And on channel four, we have, channel four is strictly for the nose gear. Um, channel three is for the upper and lower lights on the uh, fuselage. And channel one and three get the lights on the wing and the vertical. Because what I like is, I like the flashing lights on the wing to be at the same sequence as the one on the vertical and the one on the fuselage to be kind of a different blinking pattern than the ones on the wing and vertical. That's just the way I like it. You know, there's hundreds of combinations you can do. So let's go through these uh, one at a time here. Um, this is channel four here. That's uh, the wire goes directly to the nose gear. Basically, I just cut off an extra foot of length so I didn't have to bundle it up in here and that's all that's to it. So I mean, super, super simple. Channel three is getting the lights from the um, upper and lower fuselage and that's it. I mean, it's super simple, you know. You splice in the two blacks to a single, splice in the two orange to the single orange. I mean, very, very basic. Channel one, is getting all the yellow wires that we did, okay? So channel one is getting the uh, yellow wires from the wings and the vertical, okay? Once again, the yellow wire is the twisted black on the dual lights, okay? And that is going to the black. Basically, the orange doesn't get anything. I just lopped it off, okay? So the only thing we got left to talk about is channel two. Channel two, there's three wires going to the black and three going to the orange. And the red wires, we got one coming from each wing and one coming from the vertical. Same on the black. One coming from each wing, one coming from the vertical. So you just twist them all together, solder them in. And once again, that's on channel two. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. You know, it's, it's kind of a jumbled up mess here. But, you know, take it one wire at a time, and uh, it's not a big deal. So that's basically how I get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights tied into four channels, okay? So I'm going to connect them here and show you how this goes. So we got channel four, channel two, let's do channel three first. and channel one, which just has a single black. Okay, so this will eventually get mounted right here in the wires we had tucked down nice and neat out of the way because basically once you put this in, you're, you're never going to have to get to it unless you decide to move everything to a different model. So uh, let me plug this in here to a two-cell LiPo. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use this little bitty Amazon controller here. And the bad thing about this thing is to get the lights to shut off all the way, you need basically like almost 140 to 150 degrees of negative servo travel. And you set that up with a uh, travel volume on your transmitter. This controller doesn't go that low, so the lights are always gonna be on no matter what position I got it. So let's plug them in. OK, 
Okay, so as you can see, right now everything's blinking, which I don't like because I like the spotlights to be on all the time. So I just move them up. So basically, the spotlights are on. We'll turn it a little bit more. Okay, so all three spotlights are on. Uh, the green and the red are on all the time, but you got the strobes flashing out there. And the strobes on the wing are flashing at the same sequence as the one on the vertical. That way everything, you know, it's like the strobes flash on the wing, then they flash on the fuselage. That's how I like it. Everybody can have their own opinion. So this is like, you know, you gotta, I normally uh, hook the uh, lights up to a two position switch. They're either off or on, okay? And then you can change the, to make the nose gear go on, so like this would be the setting for like takeoff and landing. And then when you raise your gear up, you set up a flight mode on the, uh, the, the channel that you have your uh, controller set to, and then you move it to a different position, and then the light will go off. Okay. Okay, there it is right there. So the spotlights are on on the wing, but it's off on the retract while the retract is retracted. And what you gotta do is you just gotta play with that and find the, uh, the happy number on your, um, um, the light channel to use that in your flight mode to uh, have that light go off. So, you know, I've done so many of them, it, it, it's like second nature here. And then you can see the, uh, let me turn these off so I'm not blinded. So, you know, there's, I don't have the wings on all the way, so there's the connector there for the uh, lights. There's a connector for the brakes. And uh, when you put the wings on, the connector just kind of folds into the fuselage a little bit. So, um, you know, that's basically all I really have to say about this. I mean, it's a really neat controller. You can change the... Uh, the blinking sequence by hitting the set button there. And um, it's got a, uh, if you read the instructions, you can set it back to the factory default by holding that button down while you power it up. I just read through the instructions. It's uh, it's uh, spelled out pretty well. Um, so all we have left is the uh, afterburner and uh, I don't have it yet, it should be here tomorrow. Uh, we'll do a video on that, that's, that's super, super simple. And then that'll wrap up the, uh, the light conversion. All right. Thanks for watching.